Hi, welcome back to Mike's Method, lesson four. In this lesson, we're gonna learn a song using the E chord and the A chord. Now the E chord, as you remember from the last lesson, we play every one of the strings, including the top string, and the top string is an E note, and it's an E chord. So the E chord has a root note of E. And when we play the A chord, the first string we hit is the fifth string, and we hit the fifth, fourth, third, and second, we don't bother hitting the bottom string because we're using this method of an A where we bar across it. And the first string we hit is the fifth string, which is an A note. So the A chord has a root note of A. Okay, now that's a little bit of theory that we're gonna go into. So let's work on the song now. In our past videos, what have we done? We've downstroked. In this video, we are going to down and upstroke. We're going to learn our first strumming pattern. And this strumming pattern is just down, up, down, up. Okay, now when we strum, what we want to do is alternate the way our hand moves. So when we go down, the pick should be upward like this. And when we go up, we want to turn our hand so the pick comes up like this. Down, up, down, up. It's kind of awkward. Most people want to just do it straight like this. And that doesn't really work. You want the pick to be facing like this when you go down. And then when you come up, it's like this. Okay, now having said that, hold the pick in any way that's comfortable for you. I hold mine like this. Some people hold it like this. Just find something that's comfortable and do what works for you. All right, now the moment of anticipation is finally over. You get to see what song we're gonna learn. And it's the best song in the world. Not really. It's a song, Achy Breaky Heart. Now, most people might say, well, that's an annoying song from the 90s. Well, for our purposes, it works really well because it's only two chords. It's A and E, and it's very repetitive. So the entire song is just A and E, and it goes like this. We start on A and go down and up. Don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, I just don't think it under E stand. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, you might blow up and kill this A man. That's the entire song, okay? So we're going to do a little bit of it to the backing track. Uh, slowly, and then we'll do it to the backing track fast. Here we go. You can tell my mom I moved to Arkansas And you can tell your dog to eat my leg Or tell your brother Cliff Whose fist can tell my lips He never Tell your Aunt Louise, tell anyone you please, I don't know the rest of the words, but I can sure pretend until we get to the end. It doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, so just have fun with it. Make up any words you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to play it faster with a verse and a chorus just so you have it. But just have fun with it because that's what it is. It's just a fun, dumb little song. Okay? You can tell my mom I moved to Arkansas And you can tell your dog to bite my leg Or tell your brother Cliff Whose fist can tell my lips He never really liked me Tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, he might blow up and kill this man. 
All right, so it's just a fun little song to play along to, and it helps if you sing with an Arkansas accent. Don't know why. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn the D chord for our next song. And the D chord starts with the D root note, which is the fourth string from the bottom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit that string open, we're going to take our pointer finger and we are going to put it on the second fret, third string from the bottom. And we are going to take our knotty finger and we are going to put it on the bottom string on the second fret. And we're going to take our ring finger and put it on the third fret, second string, and we're going to make a nice little triangle, okay? And what you want to do is you only want to strum the fourth, third, second, and first strings. You don't want to strum the top two strings. So you start on the D root note, which is the fourth string from the bottom. And it sounds like this. There we go. Okay, so your homework for the night is to play Achy Breaky Heart, and to also start switching from the D chord to the A chord to the E chord. And do it in random order. So sometimes go E, A, D. Other times go D, E, A, A, D, E. Just get used to switching those chords back and forth, okay? Which one should I use? There are many different kinds of guitar picks, and there are thick picks, and there are thin picks. When I say thick, I mean it's hard to bend, and when I say thin, it's real easy to bend. If you are new to the guitar, you want a thin guitar pick. It's much easier to strum, and you're less likely to break strings. For me, I've been playing for a while, so I play with a much thicker pick, and as you get better, you may want a thicker pick. All right, that's it for today. I hope you're having fun. I know that I am, and that's the whole point of this method, is to just get you started and see the guitar is not that complicated to play. You may not be Stevie Ray Vaughan tomorrow, but you can play around the campfire with your friends and you can have a good time and you can sing. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. So far I've gotten zero comments, which either means nobody's watching these videos or I'm doing a good job. So please let me know either way. If you like them, you hate them, you see something that doesn't make sense, and I'll try to incorporate these things into the later videos. Thanks.